Hello everyone, we are discussing about the armature voltage control. In the armature voltage control, the speed is always proportional to the voltage, voltage across applied it. In this, we already have some discussion in order to control the speed of the DC series motor by using the armature voltage control, we can use two types of model. The first model, during starting method, if we are considering the two DC series motors is connected like this. That means each will get the supply voltage, half of supply voltage and get the same current for flow through it. But during running condition here, both are here both are getting same voltage applied across it but the current will be divided current will be divided like this this is the during running condition so what going on in this we have to discuss here okay so during starting condition just look at the during starting condition we can take it as the series connection series of windings then i will write like this the series is like this generally voltage is proportional to the voltage as well as back emf as well as flux this is the thing here it is seriously connected so i am taking the series speed i consider the series speed the series speed is in proportional to the series speed of the only one machine just take the only for one machine then the applied voltage is v by 2 the flux will depend on the depends on the armature current or the series current ia by 2 then the series speed is like this v by 2 into ia 2 into ia okay this is the thing so look at the parallel connection of windings in the parallel connection of windings the speed is proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the ia by 2 just write it here the in the parallel connection speed is proportional to the v and inversely proportional to the ia by 2 why it is inversely proportional the reason is flux is depends on the armature current here also flux is depends on the armature current so by modifying this we will get the parallel speed is two times of voltage and the armature current two times of voltage and armature current now we should look at torques of the in these two cases so if you take the series torque series torque is proportional to the armature square current square okay current square but in the parallel case in the parallel connection of the parallel torque is proportional to but current is ia by 2 ia by 2 whole square current okay so now we have to divide series torque and parallel torque like this the series torque is inversely proportional to the parallel torque then we will get ia square by ia by 2 whole square then wh what we will get this is the ia square and the ia square by 4 finally we will get the 4 so by this relation we can write the series torque parallel torque both are 4 then the series torque will be equal to the four times of parallel torque series torque we can write the four times of parallel torque so we can write the series torque will be four times of the parallel torque parallel torque okay right what about speeds just look at the speeds what are the changes What are the changes we have to discuss here here in case of series speed by parallel speed the series speed equal we can write v by 2ia and parallel speed equal 
टू वी बाई आई ए टू वी बाई आई ए सो बाई डूइंग दिस वी विल गेट वोल्टेज वोल्टेज कैंसर एंड आर्मेशर करेंट आर्मेशर करेंट कैंसर बोथ वी विल गेट द वन बाई फोर फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन राइट सीरीज स्पीड बाई पैरल स्पीड इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर वी कैन गेट द पैरल स्पीड इक्वल टू फोर टाइम्स ऑफ द सीरीज स्पीड so parallel speed will be equal to the four times of the speedy speed so when we are connected parallelly the speed will become four times when we are when we are connected seriously the speed will decrease one by four times so the speed control is done speed control is done by using the voltage control that means here two series motors are connected in series and two pal two series motors are connected in parallel so in the both the cases this is happen and series torque will give generally four times of the parallel torque and parallel speed will give four times of the series speed okay next next method is ward leonard speed control ward leonard speed control this is the one of the method this should be useful so in the ward leonard speed control method we are using both generator as well as motor pair so to rotate the motor we should get some supply from the generator to work as the generator we will give the mechanical support we will give the mechanical support from the induction motor we will get the mechanical supply from the induction motor r y d right so by using the same phenomena that is armature voltage control that phenomena just look at here speed is proportional to the voltage speed is proportional to the voltage that means what happen here so when the voltage is increases and the speed will be increases and with the speed the back emf also increases back emf also increases mm here would rb set current so generally the armature current equal to voltage minus back emf by armature resistance so in this in this model we will using this phenomena we can control this so we will discuss some points regarding this method just look at here in this motor in this motor is operated as separately excited motor just look at here this is the motor but it is separately excited motor so this is for this motor this will be acts as the field field will get separate excitation that's why it is the separately excited motor the speed can be controlled both below above rated values here speed control is possible two cases that is so rated speed above rated speed and rated speed below rated speed in the two cases it is possible but in the previous case it is possible only the below rated speed only right the first point the first point which is look at here if the speed can be controlled speed can be controlled both below rated armature voltage control used by varying the field regulator of generator of a variable voltage is applied to the armature at low rated value here by varying the field regulator of generator where is the generator here the generator is there generator has the field regulator generator consisting of this field regulator okay here by varying the field regulator of the generator a variable voltage is applied to the armature voltage so some a variable voltage is 
applied across to this armature right under this machine behaves as constant torque and variable power drive in this case it will be behaves as constant torque and variable power drive it will be works like this okay so what he is doing for below rated speed for below rated speed okay what type of control we are taking here field regulator of generator we are using field regulator of generator okay by variable voltage is applied to the armature voltage right okay in the second case when the speed control is required above rated value so in order to use above rated value for example so in this we can draw a one diagram that is like this this one diagram is drawn just look at here this diagram represents like this so by varying the speed two cases is possible the first case constant torque the first case here the power will be increases and it will reach and we will get the constant power is like this this is for rated and below rated this is for below rated and this is for above rated so for the below rated it will behaves like this here the torque is constant torque and after that torque will be torque will be varies like this torque will be varies like this okay right this is for the first case of control okay we will discuss the second control in the next session okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you